Hello. Right, so today I thought I'd do a video a little bit different from my normal videos and instead of drawing some fantasy creature or something like that or fantasy-esque I thought I'd draw some cartoon characters from cartoons I watched growing up but instead of drawing them exactly how they are like kind of put my own spin on them and draw them in my kind of style so let's watch me draw then <laughs> Right, so growing up I feel that I watched, I definitely watch more Cartoon Network than anything else, so I thought I'd start with what's probably my favourite cartoon, which is Ed, Ed and Eddie. I really struggled with this one, since it's my favourite cartoon, trying to put my spin on it I found really difficult. What didn't help was the fact that you can't actually see their eyebrows in the cartoon, or hair in some cases, so I struggled to put these bits in. Uh, I really wanted to do this well and I'm not convinced I'm happy with it but there you are. Uh, my favourite character in it is the one in the middle which is I think he's, he's Ed but he's called Double D to differi differentiate the fact that there's two Eds. Um, I think I liked him the best because he was slightly cleverer than the other two and not stupid. <laughs> I think he's the one I'm least happy with when I drew it, but that could just be because I liked the character as it was. The next one I did was um, from the cartoon Foster's Home from Imaginary Friends, which is a really cool one, but it doesn't have any kind of humanoid characters. Well, it has one. Well, it has a few, actually, but none of the main ones bar one are humanoid and really really struggled therefore to put my kind of spin and my style into it i did all these drawings well i did this one um, using a sepia pen rather than a black pen because i wanted to kind of make it look a bit softer when i put the watercolors in all the other drawings though were done with a black pen though This is definitely the one that I'm the least happy with. Right, so next I drew a character from the TV show called Shaolin Showdown. So funnily enough, my favourite character in this show was um, the villain or, or baddie, which was Jack Spicer. So I drew him. I made him kind of look a bit gothy and emo. <laughs> um, Oh, the final one was from the cartoon Kids Next Door, which is basically a kind of spy thing, but with children. <laughs> and they were all um, designated numbers. I don't think they had names at all in it, I think they just had numbers. I can't remember though, it's so long ago. Um, so I drew my favourite two, which is number four, I think, and number three. I think the boy's number four and the girl's number three. I really like the kind of bowl cut on the boy so you couldn't see his eyes I thought that was cool to draw and made it easier for me <laughs> right so getting to adding the watercolours on I really kind of struggled with the skin tones especially on Ed Ed and Eddie because one has more of a kind of drained complexion whereas another is more pinky and one has this bizarre kind of green glow and I had to try and make that look more human than obviously cartoony I then stuck completely clothes wise to the colours of the cartoon. Well, I tried to at least, then probably not exact. Hair was hard because their hair's just lines in it, they just have singular lines for Eddie and Eddie, so I gave them different colours. With um, Foster's Home one, I stuck to the colours completely, I feel. They were a lot easier to do because didn't have to work with kind of skin col skin tones and that type of thing and pretty much they had block colours so it's pretty easy Jack Spicer I really struggled with with his skin because he's kind of um, he's kind of grey and he's just grey he doesn't really have any kind of skin colour and originally I mixed it to be more of a skin colour and had to go over with a lot darker the red I struggled with because it needed to be brighter than you can see 
I think it went okay. There was a lot of watercolours running into the other watercolours on this painting. That wasn't good. I didn't enjoy that at all. Um, especially on the eyes. The eyes and the goggles. Putting the colours onto the kids next door characters was the easiest, I think. I wanted to, though, change the hair so that it wasn't just block yellow. So I kind of added brown into the top and stuff like that. Skin tone wise, I made number four a little bit more yellowed and number three pinker. Right, so here are the finished drawings. I'm not sure how happy I am with them. I don't really much like colour, but there they are. If you want to see them in full, you can head to my Facebook page and I'll put them up there. Right, so thank you for watching my video. If you liked watching me do this type of thing and you want to see me draw some more characters and you have any suggestions, you can comment them below or you can visit my Facebook page which is Aris Art, same as here, and comment on that. Or if you have anything else you'd like to see me draw, you can put that there too. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.